You ever do something you instantly regret? Well, I didn't instantly regret it, but I regret it a lot now. I wish I hadn't shaved my beard. Anyway, let's do this. Unboxing. This is from Vessel Headquarters out of Carlsbad, California. I normally do not purchase things just to test them, but I did purchase this just to test it. Case, we'll be showing you in a minute. A base unit, I will be showing you as well. And the vessel. Let's get a... a couple of pictures with that. We're gonna do a couple of pictures with uh, the case and the base. All right, we got all those taken care of. Now let's open this thing up and see what it's all about. Now, yes, I did find this off of another Instagram program or account that was using it. And they were talking about how much they loved it. And I've had several of my Dr. Dabber uh, pens die on me recently, um, which is very disheartening because one of them was practically new. I just bought it uh, two months, three months prior, um, hadn't used it, and it was really unfortunate and unlike their products. Um, this, on the other hand, is a very interesting looking vape pen. Hmm. It has a magnetic charger, just clips on like that. Let's, um, I think there's anything else in there. It's five on, five off. It was sent with in power so we will be testing this to see how it works um now i'm going to open up this and show it to you this is the case the travel case that comes you, you can get with it all right blue jean material which i'm i'm really i like blue jean so but it's a nice crush proof case that you can put your pen in and put other items that you feel you need in there. So it's the vessel, all right? That's the case, it's it's nice. Um, I like that, it's crush proof. So yeah, let's give this thing a, let's load this thing up. Um, whoa. Okay, you must be careful. What the heck? Not for use. What do you mean not for use? This is a little confusing. Is there more in here? Because, no, there's not. What the heck?
Well, that's not even real for anything. All right. One, charge it. Blinking red lights mean charging. No lights means fully charged. Oh, so this is a 510 cartridge. Um, date pen. So, I'm going to take my Lemon OG off here. And put it on this one. I guess it just fits right down in there like so. Yeah, I thought it was a concentrate pen, but I guess not. Uh, 2.8 volts is low, 3.2 volts is medium, and 6 or 3.6 volts is uh, it says do not charge it in your car. Okay, well, it's blue, right? Is that really... Blue is low, so I want medium. So we go to one, two, three, and it's at medium, which is yellow. Let's give it a shot. Well, it's really cool. I like this pen so far. I like the looks of it. It's got some wood here that they've actually, it's actually real wood, I guess. Pop off the bottom, because that comes off. Yes, it is real wood. So that's, that's a huge plus. try it on high and it's already showing that on high the power is low already but cheers I actually like it better on high. <coughs> <coughs> and now we'll try it on low. First impressions, um, it's sleek, it looks really good, um, it has the Vestal cover to cover up the lower part of the cart that doesn't make it look like a cheap pen. Um, it wasn't, it was, it's... This was a hundred bucks, hundred and fourteen dollars for this setup that I got. So, yeah, you know it, it it works good. <coughs> One more item to pull out and take a look at. We only a couple minutes left in this 
video, so I want to hurry up and get to this as well. Because I believe it's 15 minutes and I'm at 10 now. So I want to show all the parts of this bundle. <clears throat> and here's the charging station. It's a nice weighted down piece. Has a nice, nice cord in here. The box is pretty cool. And it has a decent setup for the whole thing. I think a lot of these companies go way overboard on the packaging though. I mean, we're going to pick up the packaging if we need it. You know, the item if we need it before we uh, do anything else. You know what I mean? But everything has to have its curb appeal. Everybody wants the best out of everything. And that easy, it's charging. And I'll charge it up now and give it some more testing a little bit later. But right now it, it's, uh, it's working really good. In fact, I've got a little, little buzz going from it. So, all right, the vessel. Um, where is it? Yeah, the vessel because design matters to them. All right, uh, for the money, yeah. I think it's it's probably worth the, the money that I paid for it, especially, well, the charger itself is kind of expensive, but I wanted to have a solid charger to see if that would work. And I think that one's gonna be really good. So, great, great charger, I really like that one. Um, the one you can use, I would think, in your car. I don't know. They don't. They they recommend you don't charge in your car. It showed that in the paperwork somewhere. Say right there. They're telling you not to do that. It says, "Do not charge the device in your vehicle." So that's that's what we do. We're not going to charge it in there. Um, they're being quite clear about it, and that's good to know. So thank you, Vessel, for letting us know. Um, check out, check them out. I will tag them in this review. And uh, yeah, right now I'm giving them. I'm going to give them five pot plants for uh, design. And so far the use is really easy, so let's go with that. And we will check out more as we go along. So give them a check. Peace, love, take care of each other, and make every day epic.